All right, guys, I forgot to mention this. So as I was getting in the vehicle, it actually reminded me of it uh, because these seats are absolutely amazing. So I'm actually on my iPhone now instead of our other camera. So when we redo these uh, seats, uh, what we actually do is we build up these bolsters. So XJs obviously are anywhere from, you know, 10 plus years old. So, you know, 10 years of people sliding in and out of this bolster flattens it out completely. So if you really look at a lot of pictures of Cherokee seats online, you'll see that this bolster matches uh, this part right here. It's hard to see uh, here, but from this bottom part to this top part, you see how my hand raises and I'm riding the whole time. This is up probably about three inches. So we actually, when we tear the factory cloth off, we reshape and rebuild this whole foam bolster right here. Uh, same thing with the inner one and same thing with these. So when you're actually in these seats, they're more sort of like a sports seat, but it's not hard. It's very, very soft and it's brand new foam and it lasts forever. We do all, well, all, we do both front seats, but we do all bolsters. So little things like that, you're just not gonna see visually uh, but when you're in one of our Jeeps, there's things like that that really make a huge difference on everyday comfort. Uh, and, you know, there's no point of wrapping a seat with the old existing broken down form. So if you reform the seat, that takes a lot of time to do. So stop yapping my mouth and get in here and uh, start this thing up and take it on a test drive. So you also see me in the videos uh, with a digital uh, thermostat reading the AC and we do that on uh, some of our vehicles that don't have an entirely brand new AC system this AC is brand new it blows ice cold there's no point to prove that the AC is cold uh, we do have our full navigation uh, system it's it's a full nav unit uh, I have plenty of videos on this system on our other Jeeps um, if you guys want you can just kind of search our website and, and take a look at it but this is an awesome unit uh, it has a speed reminder on the GPS. Uh, if you're buying this for your kid, you can program it to it. it, it if, if it goes over, so every road that you're on, it actually will post the speed limit of that road. If you exceed it, it can give you a warning. Uh, you can look up in the data log how much you went over the speed limit. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, if I go into reverse right now, the camera is going to automatically pop up. Another cool thing, if I'm driving and I have this down because I don't want it up for whatever the reason, um, let it close. I'm going to go ahead and as I'm in park and that's closed, anytime you actually activate the camera with a reverse, it automatically will pop up. And then when you go back into drive, it knows you want it closed, so it'll go ahead and close itself. So check out that oil pressure, 45 PSI is at idle. This does have your auxiliary in, your uh, USB absolutely awesome system so we'll go ahead and take this thing on a drive if you're hearing any sort of rotational noise that's the stickers on the brand new tires um, which I'm not sure you're even gonna hear them but if you do that's what that noise is the exhaust that we put on here uh, gives the vehicle a nice tone. It's not obnoxious whatsoever. We would never put anything like that on one of our Jeeps, but a nice little rumble to know that something's there. This thing has a ton of different preferences uh, as far as your format, your layout. Uh, it is Bluetooth. We do have the microphone up there as well. Uh, you can stream your music from your phone Bluetooth through that as well. It's very, very easy to sync up to it. So if you have Pandora, Spotify, iTunes, uh, whatever your music app is, uh, you just play it directly from your phone. You don't even need the auxiliary cord. on the windows as well. 
So you can set your preferences. Um, not sure what tunes are on in here, but uh, you can actually set your preferences for your speed reminder so that if you do go over it, it can just beep at you or it'll actually place a, a warning through your speakers of your car. You have exceeded the speed limit and you can set it five over, 10 over, whatever. And another thing is, is anytime you do go over, you can set it so it saves it. So if I'm, you know, if this is my son's vehicle, he's 45 and it showed he was going 60, uh, I'm gonna have a talk with him. Maybe, maybe a little more than a talk. So that's a nice little safety feature as well. So then of course it plays DVDs and all that other stuff. So. to our facility real quick and just to show you guys I will go ahead and put a, a thermostat reading on the AC give you guys a quick little tour of our shop as well for you guys that have never seen us before This can be red while in here. You gotta get right at the right spot. There it goes. Because if it's hitting the plastic or not the air, it's gonna read whatever it's, it's hitting. So we'll go ahead and move this over. Move it to the seat. Here is the 
literally ice cold. So there you guys go. For you guys that aren't familiar with us, uh, our shop does get messy. We do work on cars here, but this is our 30,000 square foot shop where we do all of our Jeep builds. Uh, we also work on a ton of other vehicles as well, but mostly what you see Cherokee over there, Jeep there, that Jeep's getting a bunch of work. Uh, that Jeep's gonna be, uh, that's been sold. We've been working on that. That's actually gonna end up being about a $40,000 Jeep when it's all said and done. There's a beautiful stage two white limited that will be online tonight uh, we also do a lot of sport cars we're in the sport cars here as you'll see that here in a moment um, 27 Ford a highly renowned vehicle right here all sorts of magazines and all everything this is a rare Firehawk 10,000 miles uh, here's a 15 Willie edition that we built uh, this is sold on its way out to California uh, like I said we love sport cars Mercy Lago Lamborghini brand new Z06 uh, carbon fiber package 300 miles um, same thing but yellow uh, we have a Giardo right here that we're ready to put up on the market but we're doing a bunch of work to it clutch flywheel all sorts of stuff and we do all that stuff here in house beautiful WS6 with 40k that just sold uh, a real pace car with 3k uh, here's one of our finished Cherokees. It's a little dirty on the paint right now because I've been driving it the last couple days, but this is a stage four through five-ish, if you will, a little bit of everything. Um, once again, all custom seats. On this one, we did a leather on leather instead of a leather suede, so that's leather as well. Uh, we did speakers, which we can add on the one that we showed you guys earlier. This one actually has an Alcaterra headliner, a bunch of other goodies. Here is a two-door that so far we've painted. Uh, we didn't paint the rockers all the way because uh, the sun's giving that paint a, a funky look. That's, that's just a shadowing, but the paint's beautiful on this. Uh, the interior we have absolutely gutted. So far we've put down brand new carpet throughout. We have custom seats coming in, door panels, headliner. Most importantly, the motor's pulled out. Uh, we, we're upgrading the motor on this. There's a 9,000 mile Cherokee Limited that may or may not go up on the market. Here's one of my favorite Jeeps that we've built. Uh, it's First of all, green's one of my favorite colors. Uh, we did a lot of custom work on this, a lot, a lot of servicing, but the interior uh, on this is just absolutely beautiful. My phone's not gonna pick up the true color, but uh, we did, let me open this door. We did the perforated leather on the inserts here. Uh, we got the single tone here with the perforated leather on the inside. We did the, the dash components with a nice round leather uh, seam going all the way down. This has remote start. We custom wrapped the steering wheel here in house. Uh, we don't outsource anything guys besides powder coating for the most part. These two Jeeps are for sale. Actually, I just took a deposit on this today. I'll know for sure if that's available or not, but this green one is. Uh, here's one that we're wrapping up for a customer. This is one that's been pre-sold. It won't hit the, the public market. Uh, we have the front grill completely out because that's getting kevlar right now. Then we'll throw the winch on and everything else. But this was a custom build per the customer's uh, request. Uh, and that's how most of our Jeeps get sold. Uh, we have a, a two-door that we're working on right now as well. Um, we have Jeeps all over the place. The, we do a lot of TJs. Uh, here's a beautiful LJ with 17,000 miles that's sold. Uh, here's a beautiful Sport that is coming on the market tonight or tomorrow. And there's a 20,000 mile Sport. Uh, we got stuff everywhere. We got a Rubicon back there. We got an old Bronco. Uh, a little bit of everything so this guy right here though is getting all sorts of work done and I don't want to show too much of it because the customer that we're building it for is spying on us to see how much is done so I'm not gonna go into detail about that there's a two-door that we're building right there so there you guys go you guys have probably heard me talk enough if you guys have any question please feel free to contact me directly uh, JD at davisautosports.com 
or you can call us 855-XJ-JEEPS. That's 855-955-3377. Take care.